Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a quick volcanic update Monday, November 29th, around 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Grimsvotten Volcano, likely subglacial meltwater flood could trigger eruption. We warned about this in September. There was a small joculate flood, and just the other day, there was evidence of subsidence on the top of the glacier, well, it is increasing. The ice sheet above the volcano has been subsiding over the past few days, likely because of a pool of glacial meltwater has moved away and might soon break out as a glacial flood. According to information from Iceland's Met Office, the subsidence in total is more than 85 centimeters with its speed accelerating. So far, however, there are no signs of increased water level, electrical con conductivity or gas at the Gushishvik Outlet River at this time, and that's where the flood would be expected to pop. Now, a glacial flood can be disastrous for areas in the path of the flow, but it can also trigger eruptions of the volcano as it decreases the load on the magma chamber, something which can lead to the formation of gas bubbles and create conditions allowing the volcano to erupt at the surface. Now, the Scientific Advisory Board for the Civil Defense met yesterday to discuss changes measured at Grimsvolten and published the following report. GPS measurements are showing that the ice sheet has started subsiding. In fact, we've been reporting on that, and it indicates that a flood from Grimsvolten is likely starting. The ice sheet has now subsided 60 centimeters in the past few days, and the speed of subsidence has increased in the past 24 hours. You can see the most recent data set here. Now, these measurements indicate that it is most likely that water has started to leave from Grimsvolten Lake, and the Grushivik will flood. Now, based on observations of past floods, it's anticipated that flood water will be exiting the glacier's edge in the next 48 hours and the flood will peak four to eight days after that. At this moment, no increase in electrical conductivity has been measured at the outlet, which is the clearest sign that Grimsvolt and floodwaters have exited from under the glacier. IMO has also gas monitoring along the outlet, which indicate if the floodwater has reached those points of the river. So no flooding yet. And here you see a great graphic of that position of Lake Grimsvolten right on the caldera there, and the path of the subglacial meltwater, which then explodes out here in this delta area as a joculup or a glacial meltwater flood. So pretty fantastic. Now the maximum discharge anticipated from this flood is calculated to be 5,000 cubic meters per second, which is pretty substantial. The size of the flood will most likely not affect the infrastructure in the area, such as roads and bridges, which is good news. And these forecasts are uncertain at best. There are examples of Grimsvotten eruptions beginning after floods like this one. The loss of the water from Grimsvotten Lake reduces the pressure on top of the volcano, and this can allow for the eruption to begin. This happened back in 2004 and before that in 1934 and 1922. In 2004, the eruption started three days after the first observations were made of the flood onset. So we're going to be looking for that just like it happened back then. Now, there were also a series of earthquakes in the days preceding the eruption, and no such earthquakes have occurred, and we can confirm that looking. In the past 14 days, Grimsvotten had three quakes above magnitude two, and there were 207 below that. So we'd be looking for a large quake in this region. And in fact, it looks like there has been an M23 just in the last few hours. So earthquakes picking up over the last three days, and so is the magnitude. So we're keeping a close eye on Grimsvotten, which, well, is about to go kaplooey, or boom, however you want to put it. <laughs> now, Iwerung, however you say this, let's just call it the Weirong Volcano. It's in Lom Lomblen Islands in Indonesia. It's in eastern Indonesia, and the alert level has been raised. A submarine eruption has likely occurred in the southern part of the Weirong Volcano Complex. The renewed activity started at 517 local time and is still continuing. Ash plume can be seen rising 100 meters above the sea. And so this is a submarine volcano. It has erupted back in 2013 here. And just fascinating, submarine volcanoes. So 
In this particular context, it says that the current status is minor activity or eruption warning is now three out of five. So that is quite a jump up in the warning. And there's the position here in the Banda Sea of that volcano. And if we come over to look at the eruptive history, it has erupted at VEI-3 in 1870. So that was probably a fantastic Frio magmatic eruption with steam and just fantastic. Is that what we're going to repeat? We just had another VEI-0 and the alert level is increased. Hope you got something out of the video. And that is a boom signature. There we go. That's better. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons, the people that share this video. You all are heroes. We love you. Be safe.